Hello and welcome everyone back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're going to be actually draining half of Earth because I was I was thinking about one of the uh, things I did before I drained an ocean, but I want to see if I can get Earth to have a beautiful cut in the center and have half of it. We'll just get rid of the Pacific Ocean. Nobody likes the Pacific anyways. It makes the Californians too, you know, uppity. They think they're so cool because they have all the waves. And you know, me on the East Coast, we get like puddles. It's pretty it's pretty disappointing really. <laughs> Go to the beach and you watch a movie and it's like, wow, surfing isn't just a Hollywood thing. Nah, but really, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it beautiful. So let's go ahead and get our lighting and set it to flashlight mode, which means that no matter what direction we look at Earth, we'll be able to see, which is way, way more convenient than the other way around. Now, because this is how lasers work, I guess, the laser tool places land if you press shift while using it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the laser tool. We're going to set it to something pretty powerful. We'll do the... No, that may be a little bit too... Uh, hot magic. What on earth is this stuff? Let's just grab the Galactic Super Laser and just make it a little bit bigger. And by a little bit bigger, I mean a lot bigger. Now, we don't want to melt Earth, so I have to make sure to hold Shift. Okay, here we go. And we're just going to hold Shift, and you'll see that it's actually drawing land. Like, this is, uh, this is how land is made, guys. You just fire a laser and pray. Better than the results from uh, my other experiments, such as nuking Earth, throwing black holes at it, and similar. But this is probably still pretty darn bad for Earth. Especially considering that I'm building a mountain range. I'm not just putting land. I am putting really tall land, higher than the Himalayas. We're just cutting Earth in half completely. If only there was accurate climate simulation now here we go we're just kind of huh maybe this will uh end australia's wildfire problems probably won't it'll probably make it worse by cutting off moisture but i don't know again climatologist please tell me what would happen oh wait we're actually we're going to be draining not Australia's side, but I feel like that's going to pull a lot of moisture out of the rest of the world, so we'll see what happens. I mean, realistically, eventually the other half of the world would regain its oceans as the water cycle pulled water back, but this would be pretty catastrophic for a while. I wonder how long that would take for all the water to get back onto the other side. Probably a long time. Now, if we did this properly, it shouldn't melt. Okay, Earth did not melt. Great, we did it properly. Now, Universe Sandbox 2 has an interesting thing where you can use negative water. Again, I've talked about this negative stuff before. It's really wacky, okay? You can just put negative mass on it. We just have to turn off auto mass and put a negative in front of it. And bam, now it will remove water. So, let oh wait, we're getting rid of a lot of the Atlantic too. It's not just the Pacific. I guess we'll just get rid of the, uh, I always tease the other countries. I'll, I'll hit myself this time. The United States, let's start with the Atlantic. And we're just going to sprinkle our negative water. Clearly not enough. It's not doing much. So let's do 10 times that. No, still not enough, or is it just not appearing? Oh, it seems to be adding water. Come on. Did they fix it? I swear, if they fixed it, I'll be sad. Because last time we were able to do negative water. If we can't, we may have an issue. <laughs> I sawed Earth in half, but there was no point. Oh, yeah. No, it's not working anymore. How dare they? How dare they ruin my fun? Um... I wonder if I can do this in a different way. Oh, 
Oh, I know how I can do this. Uh, hot laser, not as hot though. We're just going to turn down the power of this laser a lot. There we go. So what we'll do is we've actually flooded half of the earth. <laughs> we, we have caused big flooding for half of the earth. Uh, America having a little bit of trouble after that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, all we have to do is increase the radius of this a little bit. And then just... Goodbye, ocean. We're just gonna heat things up so that the ocean just evaporates away. Okay, plan B. Because it doesn't seem like the negative water trick is working anymore. Sad, I know. I always loved drinking a nice big glass of negative water. Imagine negative food. <gasps> you can like eat a ton of cookies and then eat negative cookies and oh my god. That would be amazing. Now you don't have to worry about getting fat. I think I think I have just like thought of the greatest thing ever. <clears throat> okay, anyways, all we have to do is set the average surface temperature to something reasonable. Oh yikes, there's so much ocean it's going over my wall in some areas. And now we're gonna set the composition of water to zero. Seems good to me. Where'd the wall go? What? What happened to my wall? Did the wall delete itself? Wait, let's look at the surface. What the heck? What? Excuse me. Let me see the... Displacement. My wall's gone! What the heck? How did that go away? <laughs> what? That's not how that works. Okay, this game doesn't like me anymore, apparently. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay. And now we just gotta go up into Russia. Japan first. Sorry, Japan! Uh... Good news is you don't have to worry about North Korea anymore because they are now a giant wall. There we go. We've built a wall all the way around Earth, splitting it effectively in half. Now we're going to get Earth. We're going to get its composition. We're going to set it to... When you modify the composition... Wait, no, 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 it was there. It was there. Was it there? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, great. I have no clue what's going on, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I guess when we add the water, it's going to fall properly where it's supposed to. That's the plan. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and grab edit, uh, or at, no, tools. Tools, material, water, we're going to make it just normal water, and then we're going to plop it down. Oh, there it is. There's the wall. Okay, so the wall is functioning. Great. Good to know. Now we're just going to pour water down. Whoops, we're flooding a lot of countries. Sorry about that. And now we can just watch as the oceans slowly pour... Oh no, some of it's going into the other side. Ah, I'm a little messy, I know. How dare I? Is it just leaking through? We've got some leaks in the wall. Not not the not the vegetable, but like leaks. It is leaking. Guess I didn't do the best job. Is it going under my wall? Is it going above my wall? Is it going by plane? How is it doing this? I want to know. I want to know how it's getting over my beautiful wall. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I think the wall is fine now. Okay, so half the world has water now and half does not. 
except it kind of flooded in a little bit. So the Atlantic's got a tiny bit of water. But if we look at the other side, bam, look at the stunning difference. We have removed half of the Earth's water. That's insane. That is absolutely crazy. And watch this. The most fun part is if we undo... Oh, we can't. Uh, how are we going to put a hole so that the water can spill through and we can watch it? First off, let's stop the Earth's spin. I mean, we've already done enough to screw up the planet, so... Might as well end the spin of the Earth. Um, excuse me. I would like to just interact with Earth. I'd like to just interact with the planet, thank you. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead to... Not appearance. Uh, motion. Rotation. Set the rotational period to a billion hours. Oh, that's a lot of time. Okay, so now it's effectively no longer spinning. The atmosphere is still moving though, which looks pretty neat. Um, and let's go ahead and open the floodgates. I drained half the world and then let the water. Oh, I, I have actually created the largest dam in existence. Huh. What are the chances? The largest dam in existence. I dammed off half of the world. Wow. My uh, city skyline cities are laughing right now. What are the chances? Okay. Let's see. We just want to throw a small object at Earth in order... That That's too small. It needs to be a little bit bigger than that. Okay, let's do series. That's gonna be a rather large impact, but you know the point is it's gonna it's gonna open it up. Okay, you know this this may be a little bit overkill the whole you know breaking it open, but I'm really curious what's gonna happen. Okay, so we have broken open the dam. So, is water spilling in now? It is! Oh, look at the water go! The water is spilling in. The ocean is spreading. Uh, the heat of the earth is probably... No, actually, I don't think it got screwed up too much. Ooh. Fantastic. Everything kind of just went perfectly. Okay. Look at that! The ocean is flooding in now. After half the world hoarded all the water, finally a war and a massive nuclear explosion gave it back. <laughs> Except now the entire world's water level is going to be really low. Oh. Damn, looks like we did screw up the climate a little bit. But there's a happy pentagon there, which is just still okay for- Oh, and on the top, the poles are fine, guys. And that's all that matters. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. We built the largest dam in history and then broke it. Bye.